Okay, we have a very not intense period this week. Uh, week 33 of the Beer Vlogs. This week we are going to give a shout out to everybody who has a nickname. Scrappy Boy, Pretty Boy, The Don, Grizzly Bear, Little Italy. Many of those I came up with. And we're going to add a new member to the nickname family. This guy right over here. That's you. Oh, me. We're going to call him Paper. Simply Paper. Why? Is he small like paper? Is he white like paper? Does he chase paper? Does he stack paper? I don't know. I do all those. <laughs> but he's now named Paper. The Paper Boy? I mean, maybe we could, we could go a lot of different ways. But we're going to vlog about beer today. Uh, I just thought I would add that. So this week, we have a very interesting beer. This is uh, Mitchell's Choice this week. Usually we alternate. Sometimes I go two weeks in a row if I find like two great things I just can't, can't resist. Uh, and Mitchell wanted to try something with like a banana hint. But I, I might have gone too far. So instead of going with a banana hint, uh, <laughs> he went with a full out banana beer. Boom! Look at that banana with a beer cup. That's pretty cool. Good artistry. I gotta give him that. Banana bread beer. Beer brewed with bananas. Uh, this is 5.2%. And it says malt beverage brewed with bananas and banana flavor added. So. Wow! Hey, let's just throw bananas in a beer and throw some more bananas and see what happens. That's what this is. So, monkey's favorite drink. <laughs> monkey's favorite. <laughs> We're all primates, so maybe we'll maybe we'll love it. Uh, evolution. Anyway, um, we did a little research about this beer. It's five point two percent. Everybody kind of says that it is. I mean, obviously, it's got a big banana flavor. There's supposed to be some hints, uh, some malts. And a little bit of vanilla in there, too. I feel like that goes pretty good with bananas. Like a malty little vanilla hint sort of thing. Um, sounds good to me. What are we watching? What is this? Award show. Some award show. Watching an award show in the background. I don't know which one. I don't know who she is, but she... She looks good. Anyway, pack of beer. <laughs> That's like yellow. <laughs> it's a banana. I guess it's, it's a coppery tone. Yeah, it's kind of a... It looks real coppery on the screen, look at that. It's a kind of a coppery... Kind of a coppery color, like a... Kind of like a... Uh, really similar to a lager, I would say. I mean, it, it kind of it kind of looks like Bud Light, but a little bit darker. A little bit more copper color. Oh, oh I just went all the way. That's fine. I said there was not much of a head, but there is definitely... There is kind of... Eh, it, it goes down a little bit. I got a lot. Yeah. I, I get a little bit of banana smell. It kind of smells like a... The banana runt smell. Yeah. It doesn't really smell like a banana bread like I was expecting. It kind of smells like a lager with a hint of banana as opposed to banana with a hint of lager. <laughs> We're getting like those runts, you know. Do you know what runts are? No. Okay, well, whoever does, it smells like that. <laughs> it smells like runts, okay. Uh, according to Mitchell. Uh, let's give this a taste. That's actually not that bad. That's surprisingly good. I don't. Yeah, I don't even like bananas. Bananas are gross. They're mushy and like squishy and stuff. And the texture doesn't. The texture sits poorly with me. But this is actually really good. You get. Uh, you get a obviously a big boom of like. It's not just banana. I feel like it's more like a banana bread, which is probably like the banana and the malts kind of combined. Yeah. And I feel like the aftertaste is kind of. Uh, you kind of get some of the vanilla. It's kind of like a... Oh, put a vanilla in there. Yeah. I feel like the aftertaste is like a, a banana-vanilla ending, which actually ends surprisingly well. It's like banana bread with a little hint of vanilla at the end. It's kind of nice. Oops. Um, hmm. This is, this is far better than I expected. If we happen to see one of these in Europe, we might just have to give it a try on draft. I bet that'd be good. I imagine that would a different kind of banana beer. Yeah. Yes. I was I, I was really afraid of this one, but psh, not bad. Uh, it's made by Wells Wells Brewery since 19, oh, 1876. They've been around a while. We don't know a whole lot about them. Didn't do a lot of research. I apologize. Kind of just beer bog on, on the fly this week. Bam. Ouch. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. I mean, it's kind of uh, right as everybody explained it. 
Banana bread flavor with a little banana vanilla ending. I feel like I had a chunk of banana in there. No! Oh, <laughs> that'd be weird. <laughs> I wonder if you could put a banana in there like you do with the orange for the wheat beers. I bet you could. Banana slices. Yes, a banana slice in the bottom. That might actually be good. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know. Banana, a banana bread beer. It's exactly as it says. Not heavy, 5.2%. No bitterness in there. Just really all banana bread with a little little vanilla finish. Nice and easy. Yep. Not too complex. Pretty good, though. So let's give us a rating. Um, I'll have you go, go first, as always. 3.75. 3.75? I am... You've been digging the 3.75s. I don't know. Not quite a 4 for you? two in a row, I think. Yeah. yeah. Not quite a 4, doesn't go. No? Uh, I'm going to have to agree with you on this. I'm going to say it's a, a 3.75. It's not... I feel like it's it's unique in that it's a banana beer, and there's not a whole lot of banana beers. And it, I mean, it does its its thing well. It, it's right as it right as it, it says it should be. It's drinkable, but very not, drinkable. Not my top favorite. No, not overly complex. Usually, we like stuff that's like a little more more difficult and stuff. Uh, this one's pretty simple, pretty good. Just a, a very good average beer. It's over a three. Good average beer. Yep. For sure. Win squad out.